here's how you can send emails or messages and text messages through your give back site. You would go under communications, view and send messages. Messages are sent as with you as the recipient. When anyone replies to a message that, the message that they received through give backs, it will go to your email that you use to log in and it will say your name as the sender when they receive it. So to create a new message, you would just click new message here and you can type in the names of the recipients that you wish to send it to. You can also choose to send it to everyone by just simply clicking everyone and it shows that the, this site has 298 recipients with a valid email address. I can also choose, choose specific contacts from the list I can also choose specific hubs that I want to send the message to, or I can message by a specific role if I want to only message people with the parent guardian role or contact. If you have members, you can also choose the member role and that would allow you to message only your current year members. If you have saved filters that you created under your contacts, you can also do that. However, you can only choose one of these, you cannot do all of them. So you would, can choose to send to everyone and then you would type in the subject of the email. And then you can also type in the email. You can upload an image here as well. You can also even format, add bulleted numbers or bulleted text, and you can also attach an, a file as well. You can choose to send this message later or you can send it right now. I'm only going to send a message to myself. So I would just simply type in the email there. I want to send this. I'm not sending this message at a later date, but I'm going to go ahead and click send message. Now, once I send the message, I also get this window to where I can send a text message as well. Text messages are only sent to recipients who have their cell phone number and carrier in their profile. If they have both of those answered in their profile, it will send them a text message as well as the email. And you can type in whatever you want here for the text message. It will pull from your email, but this email had nothing in the body, so that's why there's nothing here. So I can choose to send text or don't, and then it has sent. When I go back to view messages, you can see this message was sent.